All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about axes in NumPy. So let's get started. Well, what are NumPy axes? Well, if you're watching this video, chances are you've probably taken a few math classes. And so, Let's go back to fifth grade when we were learning to plot uh, points on graphs. And when we were plotting points on our graphs, our graphs look like this. Our graphs probably look like this. And this is what we would plot our points on. Well, so this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So if we have a point two, three, it, pro it lies two, two on the x and three on the y. And just like coordinate systems, NumPy arrays also have axes. So first I'm gonna create a NumPy array, but before I do that, I need to install NumPy. So pip install NumPy. And we always have to run this command whenever we're working with NumPy. So I already have NumPy on my device, but you might not. So if this is your first time running this, you're probably going to get a different answer. All right, next, let's do import numpy as np. And that's just an alias, so we don't have to repeatedly type numpy. All right, so first, I'm going to create an array. I'll call this array1, and I'll set it equal to np.array12345. All right, so I have this array. In my last video, we were talking about shape and, and reshape. And we're actually gonna use reshape over here. So if you aren't so sure what shape and reshape are, go check out my last video. I'll leave the link in the description below. So array one is now equal to array one dot reshape two comma three. So, so that has run. So now let's take a look at array one. All right, so as you see, we have our array. And since this is a two-dimensional array, it has two axes. So the first axis is axis 0, which is up and down. And the second is axis 1, which is left and right. All right, so now let's use a function. It's called np.sum. So np.sum, and this function just gives you the sum of that array. So np dot sum array one and now we press comma and then we have to do axis equals zero and like i was saying up and down is zero and left and right is one so if we run this we get an array and it's a one-dimensional array and this array contains the sum of this array so one and four is five two and five is seven three and six is nine so it works like that. And likewise, if we wanted, we could do np.sum array one and axis equals one. And now if we run this, we get six and 15 because three, two, one is six and six, five, four is 15. So when you add it up, you get that. So basically when the axis is zero, NumPy collapses the rows and takes the sum. When the axis is one, NumPy collapses the columns and then takes the sum. Now let's look at another example of this. So NumPy has this function, it's called np.concatenate, and it basically just adds two arrays together. All right, so I'll create an array, I'll call this array two, and I'll set it equal to np.array11111. One, 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 one. So six ones, and now after the parentheses, I'm gonna do dot reshape two comma three. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, except with a different number. So array three is equal to, let me just copy this over. Array three is equal to numpy dot array, and I'll just set these numbers to five, 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 five. five. All right, so now, now that this is run, let's print array two, 
and print array 3. So let's run this and we see it's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So these are our two arrays. So like I was saying before, np.concatenate concatenates two arrays together. So let's see what it does. np.concatenate array 2, comma, array 3. And now let's run this. And we see it's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And it's just stacked on top of 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So in this function, the, the default axis is axis 0. Now, and let's just do comma, axis equals 0. And you see we get the same result. Now, let's see what happens when we change the axis to 1. And remember, 0 is up and down, and axis 1 is left and right. So let's run this, and we see it's now 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 5. So when the axis was 0, it just combined those two arrays with the 0 axis in mind. But now since the axis is 1, it combines those two arrays with the axis 1 in mind. So as you see, every single NumPy function has something to do with axis. But usually the default axis is just 0. And this is why it's so vital to understand axes in NumPy. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.